Now, President Trump has declared a major emergency in California as wildfires rage across the state. Thousands of firefighters have been deployed, tackling blazes which have been spread by high temperatures and strong winds. So far, seven people have died and thousands evacuated. Our North America correspondent Chris Buckler reports. For more than a week, parts of California have been in a state of emergency. And now, as a result of the damage, destruction and deaths caused by these ferocious wildfires, the White House has declared this a major disaster. Slowly, they are containing more and more of the biggest blazes, but it's obvious firefighters are struggling in their battle against the flames and the conditions. Strong winds, high temperatures and low humidity have combined to create the perfect conditions for the wildfires to spread. We've displaced nearly 40,000 plus people. There's been about 1,300 plus homes that have been destroyed. But on the good part, we've uh, repopulated many areas and got people back into their homes uh, as quickly as possible. But some don't have homes to return to. And there are other areas where families are only now being ordered to evacuate. That's true beyond California. Skylines across a series of states, including Utah, have been lit up by the wildfires. A spectacular sight, but everyone here knows what is at risk. We stayed up there as long as we could in our valley until the, the flames were actually, they weren't 360 degrees around our area, but close enough that we decided to get out. In California alone, more than a thousand aircraft and fire engines are being used in the attempt to bring the fires under control. But it's proving extraordinarily difficult. The Mendocino complex fires north of San Francisco now cover a sprawling area more than two thirds the size of Los Angeles. But declaring this a disaster will mean extra money to help those who have lost their homes and businesses. And that number continues to grow. And I know I don't like to scare people, but I'm, I always want to say we got tough times ahead. Firefighters from New Zealand and Australia are flying in to help try to tackle the car fire north of Sacramento, another of the major blazes. In this state, well over 14,000 people have been involved in the huge effort to put out these flames. But this is only the start of the wildfire season, and there is a clear fear of what California could face in the weeks ahead. Chris Buckler, BBC News.